Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In our previous lesson, we discussed the plot of the novel Wizard of the Crow, and today we are going to be analyzing the major themes in the novel. Please subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so that you get notified when the video on characters and characterization is uploaded. The novel revolves around the major character which is the ruler of the country called Abruria. And uh, one of the major themes in the novel is that of corruption. And from the beginning of the novel to the end of it, corruption pervades the entire plot. The ruler is corrupt. He is a dictator, he is an exploiter who do not wish or show any concern for the welfare of the people of uh, Abururia. He was more concerned about uh, accruing to himself more power and getting the resources of the people. And also those who work with him, especially the ministers, all of them are more concerned about what can they gain, how can they exploit the people of uh, Abururia in the context of this novel and also to praise the ruler who is not ruling well but they are psychophant especially one of them which is called Siva Sikio and also the one called Jilo Caesar and we have other ministers like uh, Macho Kali and uh, Big Ben all those are psychophants and they are more concerned about how they extort from the people of Abururia so corruption is dominant in the novel and from the leader, the leader is corrupt and at the same time those who fight against corruption we are dealt with, we are brutalized, we are dehumanized, we are dispossessed of their possession and even imprisoned and that was why the group of people called the voice of the people in the novel are totally brutalized by the police and imprisoned and some of them will run to the forest for safety because the corrupt leaders do not want any dissident voice, okay? And uh, the ruler, which is nameless in the novel, is very, very corrupt. And that was why he even wanted to build a tower, a skyscraper, so that he can be talking with God directly. Even when the people are suffering, find it difficult to eat, he was not so concerned about the people. Now, another major team in the novel is that of magic i found magic interesting in this novel in the sense that uh, the characters who practice magics uh, have a lot of a uh, providence or i can refer to it as coincidence because when the character uh, who practice magic uh concocted a lot of things and then what he said came to pass so we saw that the, the wizards uh, who is also in tune with um, Unyawira, Kamiti is the wizard. And then uh, the lady, Unyawira, who later uh, became his lover, uh, both of them practiced wizard together. How did they start the issue of wizard? They were being chased by the police and an attempt to intimidate the police, the committee turned to a wizard of the crow. And people began to visit him. He give them prophecies. He do charms for them. And either luckily or by incident or by coincidence, they, what he said come to pass. He did it for one somebody for somebody who was looking for work, and then the person got promoted. And then the person knows committee abroad, and several people, including the oppressor, including the minister, many of them began to come, and. The shocking point is that even committee was uh, invited to the New York to come and he to come and administer uh, witchcraft medicine to he the first the ruler the brutal ruler the dictator who is now having a swollen body in the United in the New York where he go to meet with the Global Bank and also can we say he's truly a wizard? Yes, you can discuss committee as a wizard because most of the things he does come to pass or most of the things he says come to pass and at the same time he has built a shrine 
and several people are coming. And he was also extorting them. That's why I can even say the, major, the corruption is not only the leaders, even those who are oppressed. Like Kamiti, who was once oppressed, though he have a good educational background studying in India, but he was oppressed because he could not find a job. And he was even begging. He turned to a beggar. But now he also found opportunity to extort from the leaders. And some of the ministers that came to him, he extorted from them. He even carried two bags of money and then buried them on the ground. Because he was allergic to the smell of the money. And so a lot of magic have been practiced. And the people believe so much in magic. And that was why they patronized the committee and Uyawira shrine. Even though they were doing it, they, they, they were doing magic, Uyawira was still disguising because he was the leader of the voice of the people. And he still go out to go and protest against the project of reach to heaven, the sky the skyscraper and also other projects and the anti purpose policy of the ruler. But anytime he go out to protest, he will disguise himself and then when he returned to the shrine with a committee, they continue with their magic. And when it was discovered, because Uyawira has married before, and when the the husband, the ex husband revealed the the identity of Uyawira, he has to run to the forest to go and meet committee and then they made love and in the novel, the plan to get married towards the end of the novel. Then we have another one which is threat and torture. The members of the voice of the people are brutally tortured. Some of them wounded. Why? Because they protest against anti-people's policy. They yearn for good governance. And the government is not comfortable with that. And that was why the police were sent to torture them. Even when one of them called the police, police still arrested them because the police were working for the elites, for the politicians, for the brutal leaders who are exploiting the people. So in the context of Abruria in this novel, if you are poor, no matter how you have a good cause, the police will not investigate it. Rather, you will even be threatened, be tortured, and even in prison because the elite are untouchable. They control the police. They direct the police. And it is not the law that directs the police. It is the influence and corruption of the elite that directs the police. So several people were tortured. We are tortured. And even committee, because when committee was going to beg in the hotel, he was tortured also. And several other members of the masses, members of the people, we were tortured. And they were threatened to be killed. And even police were issuing threats that they could kill them and nothing will happen. So you could see the level of uh, dictatorship, despot, and brutality in this novel. Then another one is that of gender. In this novel, I can say that we have a significant representation of gender. Though not equal representation, because the main characters are more influential, are more prominent in the novel. But at the same time, we have the main gender also in the novel. Unlike Ungu Giwan Tiungo, here we have prominent role played by the female gender. Now we have Inyawira, who is against the policy of the government. Then we have Vinginia, who is in support of the government. And then we have Jin Kanyori, who is also in support of the government. So both Virginia and Jin Kanyori support the policy of the government and then oppress the poor, oppress the masses. But uh, Unyawira, the leader of the voice of the people, did not support the oppression of the masses. Rather, he and his group protested against the exploitation of the people. He protested against the demonization of the people. And in the novel, they were tortured. Especially Uyawara was threatened severally that he has to run to, to the forest. And then you could see, so the novel and the author of the novel is telling us that uh, the issue of exploitation is not limited to only the male gender. And the issue of a uh, struggle for freedom is not limited only to the female gender in the novel. 
why we have some females supporting the exploitation of the masses by the corrupt leader, by the corrupt government. We also have we have who is another female protesting and supporting the interest of the masses. So you could see the issue of a gender, a little bit of gender balance in this novel. So we can say that uh, the two genders are well represented, are well represented, and both gender participate in the exploitation of the people and also in the struggle for freedom of the people. And there was hope at the end of the novel because Unyawira and Kamiti promises to get married, or they were preparing to get married. So the novel have a good representation of gender. In our subsequent video, we are going to be analyzing the characters and the roles that each character play in the novel. Remember to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, so that you get notified when the detailed analysis of the characters characterization is uploaded to the channel. Thank you and have a good day.